Greetings, Anisia here, and in this video I'm going to present our activities in Mataro, which took place Tuesday and Thursday. On our first day here, we explored the city through a treasure hunt and a guided tour, both of which being extremely informative. After first splitting up into groups, we started looking for all the places marked on the map. We passed through a small opener market where we learned the meaning behind the coat of arms of Mataró and then arrived at the Basilica of Santa Maria, a representative building of the Baroque style in Mataró. Work on this building began in 1675 and was completed during the 18th century. The main nave is covered by a barrel vault with lunettes that let in light through the windows. Incorporated inside of Santa Maria is the Conjunt del Dolor, one of the most well-preserved examples of Catalan Baroque architecture. Sadly, we could not get into this part of the church because the priest was not present, but I still found this room impressive. After walking around for a bit, we arrived at the old walls of the city, which you can see on the left. After finishing the treasure hunt, we arrived at our first stop of our guided tour. The impressive manufacturing plant of the Mataro Workers' Cooperative was the first structure created by the modernist architect Antonio Gaudi. You can now see a few stops of our tour, including the city hall and the Casa Col Iregas, the most representative modernist work in Mataró. This was restored in 2002, and that one was restored in 2015. And that concludes our Tuesday. Thursday, we participated in activities at school to help raise our cultural awareness. Students from every country presented aspects of their culture and at the end we also learned of a Catalan Christmas tradition. To end our day, we visited the Cap Grossos of Mataró, where they showed us the Catalan tradition of building human towers. Have a great day and I hope you enjoyed watching.